Hey everybody, DeLongShot Signatures here. Uh, I was going to split this up into three separate videos, but I just want to go ahead and start getting everything uh, squared away. I've still got uh, stats to log and everything like that, but for now, I want to share the three days that were at the, uh, I think it was this year, Toyota U.S. Nationals. Um, bunch of great autograph opportunities. I went to several uh, meet and greet and signings and got almost everyone at their pit. Um, there were several, several drivers I, w I wasn't able to add this year, but uh, overall, if my counts are right, I got 200 in-person, or 202 in-person autographs uh, just at the track this year. That doesn't include the Cruise Patragon event, that doesn't include the um, Kroger meet and greet that I went to. So very, very awesome. Uh, I just went ahead and put everything in alphabetical order from the entire weekend. Note that some of these drivers were at several of the autograph signings. I would ask them to sign two if I had an extra one um, from like a previous year. And uh, several of them I met a couple of times at their pit. I never asked for more than two autographs if I could help it. But we are going to start off with four from Aaron Stanfield. An old hero card in there. Finally got this custom 4x6 done. And then got another one of his uh, 2024 hero cards. Then we got some from Alexis DeJoria, who was uh, pretty happy to see all of these old hero cards. Um, I brought them Friday, didn't get a chance to meet her. Um, Saturday, had a chance to meet her, and I realized I had left these specific ones at home. And then today I was able to get all of them signed, so I'm caught up with her. Then we had an Angel Sampe from the Mission Foods autograph session. Um, she is still working with Antron Brown. Uh, I don't know if she is going to be getting a ride again. Um, I don't believe she is driving this year, at least not for the full year. But she is still a brand ambassador for Mission. And uh, hopefully if she decides she wants to run again, she gets that opportunity. Got two from Angie Smith. These are two different hero cards, one from this year, um, one from a previous year. Uh, Matt Smith and Angie Smith have been using kind of the same design. They just change the picture and the stats uh, depending on the year. Otherwise, they almost all look identical. Got a bunch from Antron Brown, who was part of numerous signings and was good for one or two at his pit several times. only got one of this guy, which was kind of surprising. It's a little hard to see, but I've already gotten him uh, elsewhere. Austin Proc. They didn't have these hero cards available um, other than at the Mission Food signing today, so I'm glad I got this. Blake Alexander. We got two from Bob Tasca. Gave a really quick signature on that. He's kind of shortened it up a bit. He was giving some better signatures elsewhere, but it is what it is. Got my custom 4x6 signed by Bobby Bodie the third. Um, there was a crew member of his that looked very similar to him, and I asked him, like, hey, are you Bobby? And he's like, no, that's not me. He had a little bit longer hair, but I thought Bobby had just grown his hair out. But uh, both him and the other guy that were sitting there in the pit were like, yeah, we haven't seen him in a while. But they're like, keep looking. He looks kind of like me, but not me. And thankfully, I found Bobby as he was walking to um, get some parts or something. But uh, he really liked the custom photo. Got two from Brittany Force today. Ran with silver, but it thankfully worked out on that picture. And then she also signed the bottom of her new hero card. She was out signing a couple times, but she would leave pretty quickly, um, usually due to some sort of meeting or event that she had to go to, but I was able to thankfully get her once today. Then we got Buddy Hull. Got two from Camry Caruso. I almost scared her when getting this one signed, because uh, she had already left her pit, everything was put up, so I was like, okay, I won't be able to get her again. Um, but I found her on a golf cart 
uh, by another person's pit, probably a friend of hers at the track. And, uh, you know, I said her name as I approached her and she seemed, she was, you know, looking at her phone and everything. She seemed a little, little caught off guard there, but she was still cool enough to sign. And then I got this one signed in a silver paint pen that I brought. Um, all of my silver markers keep failing me and everything, but that paint pen, even though it is destroyed on the outside, uh, just from all the use and everything, turned out really, really well whenever I needed it. And we got a 2024 Chad Green Hero Card. I got several Hero Cards. Uh, I think they're all the same year, from Chase Van Sant. Um, got him a few times at the pits, and then he was at a couple autograph sessions. And then um, there was a display for some, like, Yamaha bikes or something. And they had autographed Hero Cards available, so I grabbed a couple of those when I went by. So, got a whole bunch of chases. Then the first autograph I got all weekend, Chris Bostic, super recognizable guy. Just look for the 80s silver hair uh, near a motorcycle and you've, you found the right guy. Got two from Chris King. I think I got four from Clay Milliken. Use that silver again that one. He had two different hero cards throughout the weekend. The car he was running was this Arby's one, um, but he must have ran out of those hero cards or switched it up because he went back to this uh, Parts Plus hero card. But he was cool to sign all those. I uh, didn't see this guy's hero cards until uh, the very end of the day, and he just so happened to be standing right there. Did not think that he was the driver. He's got a really long hair and a really long beard and you don't see very long beards on these drivers usually you know because of the face mask and helmet and everything um but i saw that there was a hero card at the uh his pit that i hadn't seen before picked one up i was looking at the back of it and i was like oh this guy looks a little different i look up and he's standing right there i didn't say that thankfully um he was like hey you want that autograph i was like yeah sure and I would have he was standing there barefoot and everything i thought he was one of the crew members and Probably because most drivers work on their own cars, but <laughs> he didn't look like a racer, but it was funny. Uh, slightly funny story with this one. Um, I have had next to no luck in previous years with the Quadra Boys. Um, I don't know how long they've been racing for, but uh, this year I finally got all of them. And to do that, I asked uh, their dad, Fernando Quadra Sr., Later in the day, I was like, hey, uh, I don't mean to bother you, but are either of your boys um, here in the pits? Because uh, he has three of them, David, Christian, and Fernando Jr. And I'd already gotten David. I was like, are Fernando or Christian here? And he was like, oh, yes, yes. And turns around, he's like, Fernando's right there. I was like, oh, okay, thank you. So I asked Fernando if he could sign a custom 4x6 that I made for him. And so he grabbed that one and the one that I had for Christian. I thought he was going to take it to Christian. But uh, he signed that, too. But then later, I was able to get Christian as well. So this one is duly signed <laughs> by Christian Quadra and Fernando Quadra Jr. Um, not sure why <laughs> Fernando signed the other one, but Christian thought it was pretty funny when I brought it up to him. So I finally have all of the Quadra boys, which is nice. We got two hero cards from Cruz Pedragon. Two hero cards from Dale Creasy Jr. Two hero cards from Dallas Glenn. Really thought I would have seen this guy out about more, but thankfully he was at the uh, Skag Power Equipment Team uh, autograph signing. Daniel Wilkerson, son of Tim Wilkerson. I did see him one more time, but he was carrying... I think his kid, I don't know, it could have been someone else's kid, um, but he was carrying a kid, and you don't bother drivers when they're carrying a kid, so glad to at least add him to the collection. Then I got Dave Richards on three at the same autograph signing, and he was pretty happy to see some older hero cards uh, while I was there. Here's the hero card I got signed by David Quadra, 
He's the easiest uh, quadra boy to figure out because he wears glasses or to identify. Then we got uh, two items from Doug Foley. We got his custom 4x6 from last year and his hero card from this year. Got two from Doug Kalita. Didn't see him other than being on a cart the rest of the weekend. I don't know what it is with the Kalita team. I have very little luck with them. Then we got some of Erica Enders, who was very available today uh, for signing autographs. Really didn't see her the rest of the weekend. Then here's the Fernando Quadra Jr. that is correctly signed. And then I also got him at the Mission Foods Too Fast Too Tasty whatever their slogan is um, signing. Uh, this is the hero card that they have for the Quadra team. They just have all three drivers. Uh, Fernando Sr. used to drive but I believe he has since retired and now just helps operate the team. But I did have a hero card for Fernando Sr. and he was very uh, gracious to sign that. Then we got three hero cards of Greg Anderson. Had one from 2022 left over. Then I got two from this year. His autograph gets more and more chaotic as the years pass. Then three from Hector Arana. Got one each day. Hector, uh, Hector Arana Jr. to note. His dad still helps with the team. I saw him there, but I don't have any more hero cards for him. Got several of Ida Zetterstrom. Uh, she barely signs throughout the day, but she was part of the Dodge Mopar autograph sessions. She missed the second one, but the top few hero cards that they brought for her were already signed, so I got one of those. But I was able to get her at her pits a couple times towards the end of the day, so if she continues to race, that's going to be t the time to go. Um, they are filming some sort of documentary with her, and uh, so she's very busy with that. And then she'll, you know, m she might sign a little bit, but you'll your best bet is to get her after she's done all of her qualifying runs. And then they had this other JCM Racing Hero card. Um, they didn't have very many of them, so I grabbed a few and was thankfully able to get a couple of those signed. Then we got Mr. Fillin and Big uh, Target for this weekend. Fast Jack Beckman on four. You really liked seeing this one because I think this was the year of his first NHRA championship. He said maybe that'll be a good omen. And then he also signed this one from the current year for me, which I was really happy about until I got home and saw that the top of it was worn out. Um, there was a lot of rain on... Uh, Thursday night going into Friday, so a bunch of hero cards were damaged then uh, that were sitting out. Uh, so I, I don't think I really grabbed too many of them. I waited for them, those all to get replaced. But then it also rained Saturday morning, so I wouldn't be surprised if a little bit of water got into my bag and ruined um, that hero card. Not really ruined, but damaged it. But thankfully today I was able to get another one, and it is in good condition. He signed another one nicely in silver. Use my silver paint pen there. Got another one of Jasmine Salinas, who unfortunately did not qualify um, for the U.S. Nationals this year. Nice familiar name here. I don't, I don't know if I've ever actually met him in person until this year. Uh, but he has raced for a very long time, six-time world champion in pro stock. Uh, but yeah, I don't think I've ever actually met him. Got Jed Coughlin Jr. on three. Then we got his teammate, Jerry Tucker, on two. Once at an autograph session, once at his pit. Then finally, got some stuff signed by Gianna Evaristo. I think I got something from her last year, but then um, I had this hero card for a while. Got that signed at the Mission Foods display uh, signing, or was it the Too Fast Too Chase? I don't know. Whatever it was, I got it signed. 
And then finally added John Hall to the collection, who ended up winning the uh, Mission Fuge challenge. So he signed that. And then I don't know where they had these hero cards at, but they had them at the signing. It's a nice one. Um, would have grabbed more if they were out and available. I believe he works with uh, Matt Smith Racing, because you can see the MSR on there, and people said that that's where his stuff was, but I never found anything um, about where his pit was. But some of the motorcycle drivers can be like that. You just can't find them. Got two from Josh Hart. I told him that I had seen him um, at the Cruz Pedragon signing. He signed a hero card for me. I said I just went ahead and grabbed one of the autographed ones off the table, but it was only signed by his daughter. And he said, hey, hold on to that. That might be worth money someday. <laughs> so uh, really funny guy, super nice. Met him a bunch of times in the past. Um, glad to finally get one from this year signed. Well, now I have two, actually. We got some from J.R. Todd. I think I got three total. He was part of several autograph sessions. And then finally I got him at his pit. He was one of the last autographs I got. He wasn't the last autograph. That was Jack Beckman. But he was one of the last ones. And then Justin Ashley was part of like every autograph session on Saturday <laughs> that I went to. So I got several of these. I didn't have any old ones to get signed either. I would have asked him for those. But he's now part of the Skag Power Equipment team. So that's cool. One of the most accessible drivers, and I only got her today, but I got her twice, Kelly Klontz. And we got a couple more from Krista Baldwin. Got Top Alcohol Funny Car Driver, Kyle Smith. Uh, ran into him towards the end of today. Really glad to finally get him again. Glad to see he's still racing. Longtime pro stock driver Larry Morgan. And then this is his hero card for this year. And then she doesn't race currently. She's pregnant. Uh, but she was part of the Dodge Mopar autograph sessions. And was able to get four from Leah Pruitt. So I finally have one of these signed. These are the hero cards that she's running with right now. They don't make them available, I don't think. Um at the pits and everything but uh it's basically just her saying thank you uh for being patient as she you know works on starting her family and all of that with tony stewart um but that she does plan on driving again from the sounds of it so got to go to both of those mopar sessions and get four autographs in total from her then we have some history here this is the 100th woman to win an nhra sanctioned event Got Maddie Gordon on her hero card. Then we got a hero card from Mason McGehey. Fortunately, did get smeared a little bit, but not too bad. Um, Saturday was just rough. It was rough on several signatures, and you're going to see that later, and it's going to be a big bummer when you guys see it. It is for me. Um, but it, it rained really, really hard, and it was very, very hot. So the humidity was like close to 100%, if not 100%. Uh, very difficult to get through the day. But we got several from Matt Hagen. He was part of several autograph sessions. And then he was good for two at his pit most of the time. Saw him more this year than I had in the past few years, which was nice. But I had a bunch of these old ones from, you know, previous races I had gone to. And then last year when uh, DSR actually had an event... They had several uh, uh, displays of old hero cards, and I got some of those, so those are finally autographed. Saw this guy a bunch, but he is kind of tough to get because he's always working on his car, so the only time you can really get him is when he leaves to go work on someone else's car, uh, but Matt Hartford. I need to get his current year, so I don't know if his uh, address still works, but I may have to try sending that through the mail. Then we got two of Matt Smith. Here's another one of those hero cards that he and Andrew Smith do. And then finally got this one that I have held on to since I was a little kid. I think this is from like 2008 or 2009. Yeah, 2009, back when he was with DSR. 
Got one from Mike Salinas, ran into him today uh, as he was leaving the pit, and he was super kind to sign. He's kind of tough to find even when he was a driver, but glad to get him. Got two from Paul Lee, who I think won the Funny Car All-Star call-out. I could be wrong about that. Got several from three-time world champ Ron Caps. As I was waiting in one of the autograph lines, I talked to another dude who had all kinds of stuff from all the different events that he's gone to. He goes to like six races a year. And he had an extra one of these, Drag Illustrated, um, gave that to me. He said, hey, you can have Ron Cap sign it. And later that day, I did. So really cool. That's not the only magazine I got signed. Then we got a few of his current hero cards. I also had this older one that I got signed. Um, sometimes he switches to a real small autograph and it doesn't look as good, but it is what it is. Um, I think I got this one at the Don Shu Mocker event last year as well. And then got one from 2022, and then got a couple more of his current one. And apparently I had an eight by 10 sitting around, so I got that autographed as well. Then, I got motorcycle driver Ron Torno. Torno? Not sure how it's supposed to be pronounced. But uh, he goes by Rat. And so he signed this one. He was like, oh, you've got one of the older ones. That's cool. And uh, later that day, I saw that he had a new hero card out. So I grabbed one of those and he asked me, he asked me what my name was. He's like, didn't I see you earlier? I'm like, yeah, but I had the old hero card. I don't have the new one yet. He's like, oh, we'll, we'll get you taken care of then. So, very cool design. Then we got one from Ryan Euler? Euler? I don't know how it's supposed to be pronounced. Um, but very cool guy. Wasn't out as much this year as he was in previous years, but still cool. Then there were two different hero card designs for this guy. Thankfully, I was able to get both. But Sean Langdon. This is the one that he ran with most of the weekend. And then... This one I grabbed on Friday, and thankfully I grabbed one because uh, they switched it over later on Friday to the newer one. And then we got one from longtime pro stock motorcycle driver Steve Johnson. And then he doesn't race anymore, but he did a Q&A, and then afterwards he was cool enough to sign one for me, Tim Wilkerson. We got two more from TJ Zizzo added to the collection. I did say thank you, and I wore my Rustoleum shirt that he sent me uh, through the mail. And he said, you know, I try to get back uh, to everyone who writes to me and, you know, all that. I'm like, well, you go above and beyond what most people do. So very, very appreciative guy. He's been drag racing for 33 years, I think is what um, his sign said at his pit. So, uh just one of the most dedicated guys in racing. Then we got several autographs from Tony Schumacher, who was a lot more available this year than he had been in years past. Finally got one of his uh, hero cards from last year signed. Also, I got one of these. I don't know if I ever got the other one signed, but uh, finally got one, at least one of the customs that I sent out autographed. Another older hero card there. Wrote Sarge on it. I guess he's still writing that on the hero cards. I don't know what it is with this line. It bothers me, but it runs all the way down, and it was on every copy of the hero card that I could find. I thought maybe there was just a bad batch and there was a printing error, so I went back another day and tried to get a different one, but all of them seem to have that, so I don't know if that's intentional, but it looks very weird. This is where things get awesome but also a little bit sad i was able to get several autographs of motorsports hall of famer nascar hall of famer you guys already know who it is tony stewart so this was this hero card from last year and at the first uh dodge mopar signing he was very cool about signing multiple items um but it was very humid so that didn't help and he was running with a different marker he wasn't running with a sharpie because silver sharpies are very unreliable. If you've used one, you know. So this autograph smears to the touch. So I can't handle it anymore. I need to put it up as soon as I can, as soon as I get everything posted. Um, thankfully, this one 
came out pretty nicely. This one, also pretty good. There's one in here that kind of got a little messed up. Yeah, this one. You can kind of see some of the smear lines and everything. But I was able to get three autographed in person from those sessions. And then at the second session, there was a big um, mess up between the timing from the event organizers to Tony Stewart Racing. And so everyone was under the impression that the autograph session started at 12. So we were all in line waiting there. And Leah and Tony Stewart get there around 11.45. We're thinking, oh, they're just getting here early to set up and everything like that. And after about two or three minutes, Tony Stewart was like, what the hell is going on? Why are we taking so long? Let's get this going. And uh, Leah Pruitt showed the event organizer on her phone that they were told it was from 11.45 to 12.15, not 12 to 12.30. So Tony was not in the greatest mood, combined with the... Um, rush of trying to sign a whole bunch of stuff for a whole bunch of people combined with the humidity and then me not letting it dry very quickly uh, my 2018 don russ race kings did not turn out great so if i can get an upgrade i'll try but i have so many other cards i'd like to get signed by him and he is still pretty difficult to get at the uh track he's not as impossible as you might think as you can see here um but thankfully before i left today he did come out and sign a little bit more and uh he was in a pretty good mood so i got my 2017 donruss race kings which turned out much much better uh so i'm more happy with this one turning out good and i'm kind of okay with this one turning out bad because i have plenty of these i only have this one for because uh, the 2017 race kings they did not print very many of them uh, compared to the base card so those are not the only tony stewart autographs i have though so stay tuned and then we got trip tatum who's new a new name to the collection got troy coughlin jr three separate times not much of an autograph but nice enough kid this is his current year then we got several multi-signed items to share. Uh, I usually try to keep multi-signed items small, even though it limits the space that they can work with. If it's just a couple of people, it's not too bad like this. Went to the uh, Vance and Hines team autograph session that they had there. They had three different ones. I went to one of them. And Richard Gadsden uh, showed up, but Gage didn't. But... Uh, Richard was just like, hey, you know, Gage is busy right now. He wasn't able to make it. But if you bring it back to the pit later, he'd be more than happy to sign for you guys. And so that's what I did. Thankfully, I was able to get that signed. And then they had some extra unsigned copies at the same Yamaha setup that they had the Chase Van Sant autographs, uh, autographed hero cards at. So I grabbed a couple of those, and then I ran into them again. This time got a really nice Gage Herrera autograph, and then Richard Katz was like, I'm probably going to need to get a new Sharpie, but not a big deal. Uh, now I've got um, good autographs from uh, Richard Gadsden for the collection that are very easy to store and display, so very happy about that. That same guy who gave me the Ron Caps Drag Illustrated magazine also gave me this. He didn't really like it. And I wasn't going to focus on getting it completed, but um, we were standing in line for the Skag Power Equipment uh, autograph session, and he gave me this. It has some caricatures of Elite Motorsports, and then on the back, the Quadra family race team. But uh, three drivers were there for the autograph session that were on this, so I got Jerry Tucker, Jed Coughlin Jr., and Erica Enders on that and then speaking of two of those names i i have or had a whole bunch of these hero cards and i have a couple that are autographed by erica enders but i never got one finished until today i got both of them today erica enders and jed coughlin on the same hero card so i finally got a complete one of that also today 
uh, I was almost late to this because I thought it started at 10.30. It actually started at 10. I got to the gate at 9.45, so you can only imagine the rush I was in to uh, get to this, but I was able to snag two Pet Boys All-Star Funny Car Call-Out autographed hero cards. So all eight drivers signed. Um, this is the one... This is the thing that Paul Lee ended up winning, I'm pretty sure. But Bob Tasca, Ron Caps, Matt Hagen, Chad Green, J.R. Todd, Cruz Bedragon, Alexis Tejoria, and Paul Lee. Not the greatest signatures because they didn't have as much space. Um, and they were trying to sign these as quickly as possible. But I got two of those. Then we are getting down to the end with some really cool stuff. Uh, they they are just so good at the track uh, NHRA of giving away free stuff like all kinds of stuff um, I try not to take too much try to leave stuff for other people but I usually grab um, a copy of Drag Illustrated just because I like the magazine I, I've never really gotten them autographed before but this was a cool piece and I ended up getting it dual signed on both the front cover and the back cover but it is uh, the issue that promoted all of the women that are part of the NHRA and so I got Maddie Gordon to sign on the front and then Ida Zetterstrom on the back so again I don't really do magazines all that much because they take up a lot of room but it's just too cool of a piece to not get autographed and then they had three Legends autograph sessions. It was mostly the same names. I probably could have gotten a couple of new names that had I gone today. Uh, but unfortunately, this one started at 9.30, and I was still on the road. Um, but this one was from the Saturday? Or did I go to the Friday one? I think this was from Friday. Uh, but either way, there are eight Legends on here. Um, I believe they were all previous uh, U.S. national winners except for one, but she's in some sort of Hall of Fame. But we got Richard Tharp, Daryl Gwynn, I don't know who that is, um, Shirley Muldowney, I gotta figure out who that is, don't know who that is, I think Randy Meyer or Richie Meyer or something like that, maybe it's Randy Meyer, because I think he's a team owner, uh, Linda Vaughn, and uh, Don the Snake Prudhomme. Sorry, you guys can't see that. Don the Snake Prudhomme. And I got two of them. I am a little upset at myself uh, for two things. I don't remember what the other one is right now. But the first one was Don Prudhomme. I have two more trading cards from the 90s sets that I needed finished. I could not find them for the life of me. I looked everywhere. I looked through all of my stacks of cards. I looked through the sets of cards that I have. And I even looked through my little book that I have where I tape cards in. Because I had some Tony Stewart ones left over from last year. I'm like, surely I have the Don Perdome cards in here. Couldn't find them. I had several opportunities to meet Don Perdome. But because I didn't have the cards, I wasn't worried about meeting him. So this was the only autographs I got. Then, at the end of today, uh, when I was uh, trying to get my Tony Stewart card out so that he could sign it, I found the Don Perdome cards in the book. So I could have gotten those finished because he's a really tough autograph. I don't think he signs through the mail. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm a little upset about that. <laughs> but regardless, I still had a very, very good weekend. And then, also, at the end of the day, I found the um, charity booth that does stuff for injured drivers and uh, I had gotten some really cool autographs from them I think last year uh, for a good price and I went through it again this year and for $30 I got eight autographs um, so first one is Hillary Will who I do not have in the collection fortunately it is signed on the back but you know, you'll take what you can get then I got a Tanner Gray Hero card. I don't believe I have this one. Got an Ed Ace McCulloch autographed photo. I don't know if it's really a hero card. It's not in the greatest condition. But it's a Hall of Famer. 
We got a Tony Pedragon from when he was with John Force Racing. It can be kind of tough to get him on some of that stuff. And we got a Melanie Troxel, who I've been able to get through the mail. I think I bought another one of these last year, but I don't think it was this exact hero card. We got a Dave Northrop, and it was literally, I just wanted to get an eighth one so I could get the deal. Because uh, it was, yeah, five... Five dollars per or four for fifteen. So I was like, okay, whatever the first new name that I don't have in the collection is, that's what I'm grabbing. So that's how I end up with this one. And then I bought two Tony Stewart autographs from that binder. So uh, depending on how you want to look at the deal, if you are someone who looks at it purely as the deal, I got those for free. Or if you're a little bit more analytically inclined, I got these for $3.75 each. So I would say that is a great deal, no matter which way you look at it. But uh, very, very fun time. Um, so excited, so happy that I got to go again. And without even bringing trading cards from years past or doing any of my custom photos, to get over 200 autographs in person and then purchase a few more is just fantastic. Uh, the NHRA does a great job running these events, making it super easy to access. Totally worth all the money that it costs to pay for those tickets because they are very pricey compared to other uh, racing events, but totally, totally worth it, especially if you go multiple days. And because this is on Labor Day weekend, there's an extra day added on because they do the races on Monday. I have no idea what it's like there on a Monday to try and get autographs. I imagine probably a little bit more difficult, but um, just a fantastic, fantastic time. Uh, adding a whole bunch of new names to the collection, getting a whole bunch of old stuff taken care of that I don't need to carry around anymore, and then just getting a big abundance of stuff, um, you know, for future giveaways or trades. Um, I also grabbed a bunch of unsigned hero cards. There are some that are going to go to Megan TT Hobbies, specifically um, the female driver ones that I got extras of. I made sure to grab a couple extras of those to send your way, Megan. And then, um, you know, stuff for future years and, again, giveaways and stuff like that. We'll figure all that out. Speaking of which, um, I'll probably do the giveaway binder video tomorrow. Uh, which by the time this is uploaded, it will be tomorrow. Um, but we unfortunately had an incident at the house with uh, our washer going out and leaking onto the floor. So we got that taken care of, thankfully, and we were planning on getting a new washer and dryer anyway. It's just uh, the sign from the universe that it's going to happen now instead of on our schedule. Um, but regardless, regardless, completely super happy I got to go. Again, I cannot recommend it enough. If you can go to one of these events for the NHRA, totally worth it. Even if you're just there to see Tony Stewart like half the people were, um, it's totally worth it as an event. It's, it's a great access, great for fans, so many autograph sessions, so many ways to meet drivers, great racing. And other than the ticket prices, the prices are pretty fair for a sporting event. Um, but that's more so on the uh, concession stands and the track venue but let me know what you guys think I have so much I have to post eventually and this is all while TTMs are still rolling in um, thankfully there won't be any tomorrow it's the one time that I'll be thankful that there isn't a mail on Monday but um, thank you guys so much for watching I'm not going to take up any more of your time it really means a lot to me Best luck with your guys' collecting. Take care.